Hi, I'm Sunny Lee. I'm a contributor for Serious Seats, and today we're going to make a banchan. This is kamja bokum, which is a sweetened soy sauce braised potato. Kamja bokum is classically potatoes just braised in a syrup. My interpretation, we're gonna fry the potatoes first to get a nice crispy outside and super creamy center, and then we're gonna braise it in our dressing that we're about to make. We're gonna whisk in together the soy sauce, the sugar, the water, which will help uh, prevent the caramel from burning too quickly, the fish sauce, and then Take this clove of garlic and just grate it. And then we're just gonna whisk everything together until it's cohesive and all the sugar dissolves. This shouldn't take more than 20 or so seconds. So the best potatoes to use for this are small waxy Yukon gold style potatoes. I like to find ones that are about uh, one and a half to two inches and then just cut them in half and they're just like the perfect bite-sized piece once they're done. I also love to leave the skins on them and you save yourself some time. Okay, let's cook these potatoes. We're gonna put the oil in the pan and put the potatoes in, cut side down, turn the heat up to medium high and cook it until they're golden brown. My rule of thumb when I'm cooking potatoes is that you're gonna notice that it's gonna feel like they're sticking to the pan right when, as the oil starts to heat up and the pan starts to get hot, and as they turn golden brown, they're just gonna release. I like to use this little metal offset spatula to kind of lift them up and flip them once they turn golden brown. The most important thing is to prevent the urge to keep touching the potatoes. Kind of let them do their own thing. This is a uh, three-quart saucier pan. You'll notice that the sides are sloping up and I love to use this particular style of pan because it's perfect for glazing. The slope sides will kind of push the liquid back in and help emulsify it at the end. But if you don't have one, you know, a small saute pan with a lid or any pot that can comfortably fit the potatoes in a single layer is gonna be just fine. See, so yeah, I'm telling you guys to not not to keep touching the pan, but I can't help it. It's just like, if there's something in a pan, I wanna move it. <laughs> Especially in the winter time, like I really do just get tired of like regular roasted potatoes or mashed potatoes. And, and this thing is basically being preserved in the soy sauce glaze, so it'll last for like a week in the fridge. Oh, we're starting to get golden brown now. Oh yeah, all right. So now that our potatoes are golden brown, I'm just gonna strain out the excess oil and we're gonna move it back into the pan. And then we're gonna add our glaze now to the potatoes. I like to use a spatula so we don't lose any flavor. Now that our glaze is in the over the potatoes, I'm gonna cover it and we're gonna let it simmer until the potatoes are completely tender and I'm gonna use my cake tester to pierce it. Should be no resistance, probably about 10 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna take a look at our potatoes. Now you'll notice that the potatoes are, have not been completely submerged. As the glaze is reducing, the steam is actually cooking the tops of the potatoes. So I'm gonna use my cake tester and yeah, the, these potatoes are super, super soft, non-resistant. So at this point, we're going to glaze the potatoes. And you'll notice that the, the sauce is starting to thicken. And I'm gonna use, in this case, I'm gonna use the, the pan itself, but especially my spatula, and just start moving the potatoes around. So I'm gonna finish it with the sesame oil and sesame seeds. I like to add the sesame oil off of the heat because you don't really want the sesame oil to taste cooked. I'm like moving the potatoes around once I've added the oil so that we can really emulsify and get a nice thick glaze. There is residual heat on the pan, so you don't need to keep it on the stove. And then we'll plate it up and have some. You'll notice there's some extra sauce in the bowl. Don't be shy with the sauce. And there we have it, kamja bokum. 
Mm. Nice firm outside, super creamy in the middle. You don't need to add any salt when you're cooking this because the soy, the soy sauce glaze with a little bit of the fish sauce does all the seasoning you need. Nice little crunch from the sesame seeds, nuttiness from the sesame oil. This is, I'm um, gonna eat this whole thing right now. Thanks for watching and um, I'll see you guys soon. Ha, 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 ha.